for some unexplained reason, people have begun to fear vitamin A a little bit in liver, but I think that at those doses of liver, half an ounce, an ounce a day, vitamin A is great. And we know that vitamin A is essential for human health. And in fact, studies like this one show us that vitamin A supplementation can actually improve hormonal panels, hormonal levels in children with delayed puberty. So the title of this study from Clinical Endocrinology in 2004 is Vitamin A and Iron Supplementation as, is as Efficient as Hormonal Therapy in Constitutionally Delayed Children. Tell me again that liver, which would have both vitamin A and iron in it, is bad for humans. So these are 102 boys aged 13.6 to 15.5 years who were referred because of short stature and delayed puberty. Now, this is actually a really interesting study for me because this describes me. This describes Paul Saladino when he was 13 to 15 years old. I had delayed puberty as a young man, as a prepubescent man. And we did hormonal testing. I've not, I don't think I've ever actually talked about this on a podcast, but no one could find a reason. Eventually, the hormones turned on, things caught up. I had no idea about nutrition then. I probably was eating way too much cereal, way too much peanut butter at the time. But if my parents had known about this, I didn't need hormonal therapy as a child. But look, subnormal vitamin A intake is one of the etiological factors in delayed pubertal maturation. Supplementation of both vitamin A and iron to normal constitutionally delayed children with subnormal vitamin A intake is as efficacious as hormonal therapy in the induction of growth in puberty. This study really hits home for me because this is probably the reason, or at least one of them, that my puberty was delayed as a child. I remember being a freshman in high school. This is an embarrassing story, but I'll tell you guys. And during sex ed, the teacher says, I know all of you guys have hair under your arms. A freshman in high school, I'm sitting there sweating bullets and thinking, I don't have hair under my arms. As a freshman in high school, I needed more vitamin A and iron at the time. Thankfully, my hormones did turn on. <laughs> Any of you guys watching uh, this on YouTube can tell that I have hair on my face and eventually I hit puberty. So thankfully, uh, all good in that department for me. But look, vitamin A and iron deficiency can cause constitutionally delayed puberty in humans. Tell me again that vitamin A is a toxin. Tell me again that you shouldn't be feeding your kids a little bit of liver. Get that hogwash out of here. That is total bullshit. The last piece of this equation nutritionally that I want to talk about is boron, something that I spoke about a lot early on in my carnivore days when I wasn't eating any fruit. I was just doing meat and organs. And I thought, where the heck are we supposed to get boron from on a strict carnivore diet? It was really hard. I think I found some study somewhere that suggested there was boron in bones. And so I was eating bone meal. I tried supplementing with boron a little bit. That did seem to decrease my SHBG, which went up on a ketogenic diet. I'm going to show you guys my labs in a moment. My SHBG was essentially double on a ketogenic carnivore diet, what it is now that I have added back in fruit and honey on an animal-based diet of organs, meat, fruit, honey, and raw dairy. But in that process, it was important for me to understand what was causing the issue for me. And one of the things I looked into was boron. So I supplemented boron and I did feel increased libido, probably because that SHBG, which was inappropriately elevated from long-term ketogenic diet, strict carnivore was uh, perhaps decreased by boron. But as we know, if you supplement with boron, it tends to just drop SHBG and then it rebounds back up. Boron is though apparently quite essential for proper hormonal function, especially testosterone. And interestingly, you can get plenty of boron in your animal-based diet just by eating some fruit. So I did a little research and found what appears to be a pretty accurate chart. There are two studies cited here, Hunt et al., 1991, Anderson et al., showing the fruits here, apples, apple juice, applesauce, bananas, cherries, grape juice, orange, peaches, pears. Unfortunately, there's no tropical fruit like papayas, pineapples, or mangoes. But I eat a lot of bananas here in Costa Rica and um, per kilogram of bananas, I'm getting 3.72 uh, gram, milligrams of uh, boron. I don't think I eat two pounds of bananas per day, but they're a good source of boron. I'm also eating, I'm probably eating five or six bananas a day, which is something I've talked about now. I'm eating some mangoes. Uh, I will eat some papaya. I will eat some pineapple and I do eat some honey. And in fact, honey is also on this list. If you go down to the bottom here, you can see that honey has 6.07 milligrams of boron per kilogram. Again, not eating anywhere near a kilogram of honey per day, but I am eating three or four tablespoons of honey per day. So I think that on an animal-based diet, I'm getting a really nicely adequate amount of boron. The ideal is perhaps three to four milligrams per day. Avocado is also great in boron. Now, if you look at that chart in detail, they'll show you that boron is also high in things like vegetables or nuts. And I would say that the boron, which is a mineral, is probably not very bioavailable in those vegetables and nuts at all. 
Um, that would be my suspicion. And I don't think it's worth getting nuts in order to get your boron because they're going to come with all the other problems that nuts have with them, phytic acid, digestive enzyme inhibitors, et cetera. The only type of nuts that are worth eating are bull testicles. That is an appropriate joke that I stole from my friend Carnivore Aureolus um, that I have to drop on this podcast about testosterone and about bull nuts. And if you're not eating bull testicles, why not? Like I said, you can get some in whole package from Heart and Soil. It's one of my favorite ones that we make. 